I have other hobbies. Why do you think I'm so fucking tan? Because I like to be I outside. This, we watched this movie on the plane. Yeah. What are we supposed to do on the plane? Go tanning? No. All right. You All ready right. to start the show? I'll start the show whenever you want. Can we do the Delmar thing about Andy? <laughs> sure. All right. God, you love him. The little think, romance is weird. Isn't, I think he, isn't that, he playing on your golf team? Yeah. Congrats. Okay. He's not very good. You know, he, John's much better. John got his golf club stolen, so I don't know how good John's going to be on Saturday. Oh, he's going to uh, get new ones. Just in time for the Westgate golf tournament. Saturday? I'm so oh, no proud shit. of him. We're not going to be done by 3.30 at this rate. Yeah, yeah we will. Yeah, we will. Oh, okay. All right, let's start the show. You ready to start the show? You guys are already recording. They've been recording. Even the, the stuff I said about Andy? Ah, oh, shit. All right, so <laughs> what do you want to start with? You Why start is with this my life? Like, I fly all the way across the country for fuck around hour with you. I've already what done, did you? Do you know how much I've done today? Nothing. I've already done. Bullshit. I have already signed up for the super contest. Oh, uh, one thing. One thing. One thing. No, that. What else? You're ridiculous. What have you done today besides watch baseball in your office? I watched the A's Mets game. Uh, oh, Louis D'Onofrio's Mets are losing right now. Woof. It's probably because they let Hawk to a girl throw out the first pitch. What do you think of that girl? I have no idea how she's still famous. No idea. I mean, congrats to her, but like, how? I like, 15 minutes of fame is supposed to be over already. I saw an interview with her where she said, the reason I'm so funny is because I'm a crack baby. And it made me laugh. Is that bad? Yeah. <laughs> it's a funny thing <laughs> oh to say. Oh, my God. Okay, great. Anyways, That's what did you, so what did you do? So we were talking about on the flights, I watched the movie The Iron Claw, and I was talking about how good it was. And then you were like, I have hobbies. And I was like, what the, what else am I going to no, do on a flight? I got a lot of on work done on the flight. What would you do? I worked on some college football. Uh, I got a lot of emails sent. I made sure that you guys got... You know, all of your, your paychecks, except for John Hoagland, which somehow is just not his week. Uh, what else did I make sure of? I did a lot of stuff for Wager Talk. I'm working on the new Westgate show with Wager Talk yeah. so that I can do some stuff with the book. Who's on, who's on that show? So it's going to be Chase, Andrew Babakita. Chase Michelson. And uh, is that his last name? Uh, Chase Michelson. And, well, you would uh, know. You stole money from him. Art, Art DeCesar. Yes. And uh, they're going to join me every Saturday and Sunday. Give me a look behind the counter with some other handicappers from Wager Talk. So finalizing a few details, but I worked on that show. Okay. I pulled a lot of YouTube analytics with our uh, producer, Joe Ranieri. What, what does that mean? It means you look at the data and you figure out where you're messing up and what can make the show better. So we circled all the where are you? Where are you messing up? All I'd say all over the place. Yeah, I'm yeah. the biggest failure yeah. ever. <laughs> anyway, I just got back from Del Mar. That's a good trip. How come you've never been to Del Mar? I don't know. It's so fun. We just, we sit out I there. I don't have money to go to Del Mar. Well, yeah, I mean, I got accused by the waitress of using my dad's credit card. That was unfortunate. Uh, Shout out to Southwest. <laughs> but, yeah, Del Mar's Every great. dad in Kansas has that Southwest credit card. That makes sense. Oh, is that why? She probably thought, like. But that waitress was, like, my age. Yeah. So maybe, maybe she didn't see how much gray you have in your beard? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, you should definitely go. Delmar's a lot of fun. Always run into a lot of people. Good time. Lost all the. We lost like every race, but it's okay. I mean, whatever. What are you gonna? There are so many sharp horse handicappers that you know. You didn't think the like, hey, do you have an opinion on any of today's races? I don't want to bother them. I don't want to bother them. So what are? How long are you in town, and what are you doing while you're here? Uh, so I got in yesterday morning, and saw some friends, and. Uh, today doing some stuff for the Westgate and Superbook. Tomorrow going to sign up for uh, some more contests. Okay. And uh, Saturday we have the Westgate Invitational, Superbook Invitational, Super it's Contest. It's the, the, the Super Contest Weekend Golf Tournament. There you go. Not at as At Las Vegas Country Club. And uh, you're, me, you know, you're, you're, playing with, you're playing with Eric Osterman? Uh, I, that's what I was told. Eric is really good. So JH and Louie said we got Eric bullshit, on our team. Dude. If you guys win, that's bullshit. I'm going to hit like anything. four shots. I'm not even going to rent clubs. No, but I'm going to use JH's new no, clubs uh, advice today. LVCC is not going to let you do that. Everybody's got to have their own set of clubs. It's a country club. Fine, then put them on the back of the cart. It's a country club. Doesn't mean I have to use so them. It, it's, a, it's a shamble. You I guys don't understand know this? this. So everyone. This doesn't make any sense. I just want to play best ball. Everyone tees off with their own. Everyone tees off with their own ball. 
I'm looking at our producer, John, who's part of your team. Everyone tees off of their own ball, and then you all go to that ball, and then you play in from there. You play your own ball in. So, like, if, Ke if Eric is on, if Eric's on the green with a birdie putt, and Kelly's over in the forest, go pick up your ball. You're going to use Eric's score. That's my whole point. I'm going to take, like, no shots. I'm not going to be the pain in the ass. No, I'm not going to move up to the ladies' season tee off. I fucking refuse. I hate that. That is the most annoying thing ever. It's like, oh, just wait on me 40 yards in front of everybody else. I hate that. So anyway, I'm going to so make you don't, my you don't own think rules. that women should have advantages in, in athletic competition? I am going competition. to tell you this right now. I am going to take a couple of really great putts tomorrow, uh, Saturday. God, it feels like a Friday. A little hungover, you guys. Uh, yeah, it's John Murray's fault. Too many drink tickets at the... Uh, Sportsbook bar yesterday at about 2 o'clock. It's all his fault. I gave you zero drink tickets. I also had absolutely nothing to do with the acquisition of that hotel room. I don't even know how you get on that floor. You know, I don't even know what floor that's on. Uh, the 28th on. floor. Never uh, been up there. Because that's where all the no other idea. suites are. Apparently there's like a Christmas suite up there too. Yep. The guy who was telling me on the elevator, he's like, oh, which suite do you have? He's like, I have the Christmas. I'm like, there's a Christmas suite? There's a Halloween suite. Uh, needless to say, Brett. Never been up there. Brett uh, is not too impressed with our hot pink suite, but I think it's awesome. His nieces, three and four, loved it, sent them a video, told them I was going to make sure to reserve it for their 21st birthdays. Anyways, 21st birthday, like 20 years from now. Oh, no, no, no. The day Callie was born, she's going to be five in December. I had already started. I was like, yep, this kid. I'm taking this kid. 21st birthday, Vegas. You're going to be an old lady. I'm an old lady now. I feel like awful today. I had like eight drinks yesterday. What do you want to start with? We're well, going to start with... Give me, uh, give me the most important thing. Well, it's not the most important, uh, at least not to me. But it's <laughs> the the Premier League stuff? <laughs> That's definitely... Oh, wow. that, that, we'll save that for the end of the show. No, no, it's I don't want to talk about soccer. It's football season. You said you want sharp action. Okay. Uh, let's, let's talk about... Okay, just because I keep seeing stuff on social media and people are driving me crazy and they don't understand... Yeah. Basic concept. That's why you gotta. That's why you gotta just mute social media from time to time. Okay. So like tell me what the latest is. There are eight states mm. that have outstanding wagers. So basically, yeah. everywhere that Superbook Sports was, not in Nevada. Yeah. So the eight states outside Nevada, we ceased operations last month. We talked about that on the last show. Very complicated stuff. A lot of legalities. Our attorneys working with the regulators in other states. It's complex, guys. I mean, we appreciate everybody being patient. Here's the good news. We got the approval to grade in full all futures through the middle of November. So any baseball ticket that anybody has out there is going to be action. It's going to be graded in full all the way through the World Series and the player awards. Okay. That seems very fair and reasonable. But well, that's very significant because the, the vast majority of the tickets, as you can imagine, are on baseball. Correct. They are on baseball. Now, there are football tickets. There are basketball tickets. We are working with the regulators. Different states have different rules. We're working on getting emails out to every customer in every state with an update. We are still waiting for some OKs in certain states. We are working on it every day. It's very important. We're trying to get it all handled before football season really starts at the end of August. I know the first college football Saturday is August 31st. We are working up against the deadline, but like I said, the good news is all the baseball stuff, it's all action. So if you have, I don't know, the Guardians over wins, for example, what a good bet that would be. I, I think that my is plus 340 bet. is even better, but what do I know? No, it looks really good. I mean, right now, the I think the Guardians were like minus 280 to win the division, something like that. They're, nice they're, little future CLV trophy. Do those exist? It's not a CLV trophy <laughs> if you win. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just called it's a, a winner. It's a little inside joke amongst the group chat with Sam Paniotovich and Ariel Epstein. They will get the reference since you decided not to. I feel like the only thing we talk about in that group chat has nothing to do with sports. Uh, we just post ridiculous photos that we have taken of each other in Vegas from years. Ariel had a pretty funny one of Sammy. Uh, she posted today from four years ago. Uh, well, I hope it was from four years ago, considering what he was wearing on his face. <laughs> I hope it wasn't from one year ago. Ariel Epstein had a uh, one of those Vegas drinks for first time in Vegas that was taller than her. That was the photo that was my contribution, except I sent it in a different chat, so disregard. Uh, let's see. we got to talk about Splash. I, uh, 
I may have been a little overzealous, guys. So she didn't, you didn't do your homework? No, I'm just a fucking degenerate. And throwing a nickel on a season contest isn't that much to me. For an entire season? And I thought, okay, I, I selfishly... You're, want, talking, you're talking about your college football pick'em contest. Yeah, I wanted a big money league with a big prize attached to it, right? Like, you and I decided $100 for yeah, our Yeah, but you're, let me, I gotta interrupt you. You're not a common, like, I'm looking at our producers, Louis D'Onofrio, John Hoagland, they're common men. Me, I'm Mr. Common Man. You're not a com. You're not common folk. To you, to, to us, $500 is a lot of money. To you, it's nothing. Okay, so the point being is... That's why I have and this... And also, we still have a few weeks left. And, you know, I understand why people are waiting to see. And also, Splash has guaranteed some of my contests in the past. So this, this could come up. We'll see. Uh, but I'm going to give out an entry... So on my page, I believe it's pinned to the top, my video explaining the... Your, pa your page on what site? X. X. And, used to be called and, Twitter. And Instagram. It's pinned to both. Instagram. The one with me in the blue tank top. Uh, if you retweet it, you follow Kelly and Murray, myself, and Splash Sports. I'm going to pick a winner uh, before the season starts. College football season, of course, starts. And you get a free entry into my contest how do people know that it's not fixed like you're picking the winner how do I'm I, actually not picking the winner how do I'm gonna I let, know that you I'm gonna didn't let cheat. somebody else pick the winner how about that I'm gonna let Who? somebody at Splash that probably runs like the admin stuff say okay here this person okay pick this person because if I pick you're right somehow it's gonna get said that it's biased so I'm gonna well let I pick. would tweet that I think you cheated okay great well anyway if you guys go out there retweet the video I'll post this on X with instructions as well okay uh, I need to I need to drum up some business. There's, I went to dinner with how, some how many poker people? I'm sorry to interrupt night. you. How many people are in it? Thirty. No, no, just ballpark, ballpark. Thirty something. Thirty, and then we uh, tell. Okay, tell us your story about dinner. No, I, I was gonna say last night I went to dinner with a bunch of poker players that were in the big uh, ten thousand dollar fantasy league, and they're like wanting to up the stakes, and I'm going. I don't do anything with fantasy. I am not shelling out any more money into this fantasy football league. So it's like, why aren't guys like that joining my? college football league you know we've we've had we've had trouble in this state with college football pick them contests gaining traction you know like I, I i love college football yeah i always played in the leroy's contest i did the golden nugget i've done i did the william hill one until it went yeah under because it was such a big overlay i did terrible in that last year or two years ago but the it's been tough to get a college football contest that really gets a lot of traction people are way more interested in the nfl I get it. Uh, so doing some stuff with them, I did join their million-dollar guaranteed survivor pool for the NFL. Okay. Uh, that's well, what's, that's on Splash? That's on Splash as well. And then I have uh, five entries into our college football survivor. So we'll see. You So you can be in our contest? Uh, yeah, that's the whole point. Let's oh. see if you're better than me. Uh, at what? At surviving college at, football? Yeah, at surviving college football. Uh, no, or picking seven games against the spread for 14 weeks. Oh, I think you're better than I am at that. Well, I would know you haven't joined my contest. I literally said while Who you're in California. Who has $500? First of all, I said while you're in California, you need to sign up while you're there because you can't do it in Nevada. I thought about that, but I'm going to Virginia on Wednesday. Okay. All I'm right. going to Virginia. I'll be all in Virginia right. next weekend. Yeah, I can see who's in it, and I knew you weren't in it. <laughs> what, what, else, uh, what else do you want to talk about on the contest side? You... We so got, we got to talk about the super contest. We got people watching horses right now. Getting getting all amped up. That's like some yeah. of the fun stuff. I'm a little the I'm a little today. jealous, man. One, I kind of wish I was One old guy the yelling at a horse at you know 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Lady over there hit something on a slot machine. The poker room's buzzing. You can tell like football season's like in the air. You can feel it. No 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 no. The Westgate Las Vegas is super busy right now because the APA, yeah. the big billiards convention. It's great for this casino. Great for this hotel. That's why we are there jamming. There are pool players everywhere. Yeah. And you know what? I actually haven't had to wait that long for the elevators. Well, we did because we redid the elevators. I know. We redid the elevators. You complained so much there the last two, time. Two years ago. Finally two got to push years through. ago. Ariel Epstein and I were on the 28th floor. We just said fuck it and walked all the way down 28 flights of stairs. Do you think that it's really? 
I needed I needed the steps anyway. But I was really hung over that morning and not happy with you when by the time you saw me in the sports book. Do you think it's bullshit that you complained about what room I got you here? Super Bowl weekend Sorry. with the Super Bowl in Las Vegas, I mean, by the way. Because here's the, here's the reality. Give me a break. Look at the room I'm in now. It's awesome. It's got two bathrooms. I don't, even have, I don't have the con- I don't have the juice to do something like that. How? You're yeah. an executive director. Yeah, that was that was Chris in marketing. Nobody cares what I think. Yeah, that sucks to suck. Chris that- got me a present too. We should open up. Should we open it now? Yeah, sure. She brought me a she brought me a present. And dropped off, but I really don't know what it's. Oh, look, it's a card. See, and John's never done this for me either. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got a Westgate hat. Okay. Oh, let's go. Sure. Yeah. I got really? a nice Chris little got you all that? And a, and a icicle Westgate cooler. And sparkling rosé gummy bears. Oh, my God. What kind of marketing budget are we working with here? I don't know, but it's way better than working for the sports book. Oh, okay, well. Look at this. I you didn't guys, say that. You guys want to get some that. glasses? We'll pop the champagne. Let's do the show first. Let's. <laughs> are you Now, you signed up for the super contest just this afternoon. I did. How do you feel about that? You didn't, you didn't want to go for the gusto with the gold? Okay, you talked about thresholds with money. Right. I, five grand for an entire... NFL season in retrospect, if I'm a dime better, is not very much. The problem is that contest is really, really hard, and only one person gets paid. Well, it's and the it most, ain't gonna be me. It's the most serious oh, absolutely. contest in town when you Listen, factor I'm in the buy in, when you factor in who's in it. Like I told my good friend Jeff Patch, who's placed in your contest here, he's placed one downtown. I told him he should absolutely get in it. That's really? totally like right up his alley. Because NFL is his bread and butter. It's just not mine. And there are people, you don't have to put up the 5K yourself. Okay. Like I, I, got, I got friends that go in together, 2,500 each. I get that. But like, That's legal. I'm in for a thousand bucks and I have 12 different in season prizes. I've won a mini contest before. Now they're called quarterly prizes. Yeah. Uh, but. Well, it's not really quarterly. It's just in-season. Sorry, in-season, excuse me. In-season prizes. And so that, to me, is much more feasible than an entire season. I'm just not going to pick that one. So it's a lack of self-confidence. Correct. In NFL. In yourself. Or NFL. And in the NFL. What sport do you want to talk about first? We, We do have UFC 305. Okay. That is Saturday night. It's in Australia. Is it, is it low, is it like... Low, to our time, or is it to their time? Theirs. Because the one in the one in Manchester was synced to like our pay-per-view schedule. It so was? the main fight, yes. So the main fights were going at about five in the morning in England. Yeah, I don't know. I got our, our the main card starts at seven p.m. Pacific. Pacific. I can't. I can't hear our producer Louis D'Onofrio. It is normal time. Oh, oh that's great. Okay. So the main event: Drikus Duplessis. The South African, the champ, is fighting Israel out of Sanye. It's a great fight. It's basically a pick 'em fight. We got Drikus minus 115. It might be Drikus Duplessis. Don't ask me to pronounce UFC uh, fighters' names. We got I, the South African is... minus 115. Now, he was more like plus 110, plus 105. You keep talking. Go ahead. But there was some sharp money. Hold on a second. Oh, Ke- Kelly's getting a margarita switch. A that thing's got half. You got half of it in there. Well, I already did give myself some of the refill because Louie got me a to-go cup. Like, oh. oh boy. Uh, so we got an edit button for the show. Thanks, John. Thanks in advance. Uh, the South yeah, African. I spilled all over my paper. He is now minus 115 to retain his belt. Nickel is the one we really got a lot of action on. This guy, I mean, I don't even know what to, you can do with this, but this guy went from this guy went from like minus 135 to minus 170. Now he's over minus 200. So very sharp steam on nickel. Okay, well I'm not laying two dollars ever. So. So you always say that, but what I if hate you, it. but what if you were laying two dollars on something that should be minus eight dollars? I understand that. Like Floyd, they used to say that about Floyd Mayweather. Like yeah, oh, he won okay. and he won every single fight. I understand. It was good value. Every time Floyd fought, it was great value. It seems like the the value now in, fi- in no, the, the fight value, game. No, the value that I ever found in Floyd Mayweather was taking all of my friends' McGregor bets. 
Well, that was really smart. Yeah, just booking their action. I was like, but yeah, I'll, I'll put in $20 for you. Yeah, I'll put in $100 for you. Yeah, I'll put in a nickel for you. That was, that's where nickel I want to be. $500. Because I am not going to lay $1,600 on somebody. I understand what the... But you were, but seen it you were, you understand that by booking their bets at plus money, you were laying the price. You Correct. were becoming the house. So you, that's exactly what you were doing is laying the price. But I didn't have to walk up to the counter with $1,600 to still know I was only going to get $100 back. But that's what you were doing. I know, but it's not the same. It's not the, the perceived value. It's exactly value, the same. The perceived value in what I was doing was not the same as me physically coming here and actually if doing we, that. If we let somebody bet 100 bucks on a team to win the Super Bowl 20 to 1, what are we effectively doing? We're risking 2000 to win that guy's $100. That's yes, what we're doing. you are. That's what you were doing when you were taking those bets. Yeah, but you aren't because you aren't the ones posting up the money. It's I said we as in the, the e operation. Yes, but building. effectively is what, what you're saying. Yes, I understand the concept, but the idea of, okay, so it's no different to me than going to put $100 in a concept. slot machine and knowing I'm going to lose it. Like, you just know that that's what's going to happen. You say that. Last time you were here, you... you you played our NFL oh, slot worry. machine. You won like a thousand bucks. Fifteen hundred. I can see it. It's right over there. It's like been calling my name since I've been here. UFC three hundred five. You know we've been on a we've been on a cold stretch lately in the UFC. Our yeah. sharp guys have been losing, and we've been having a lot of parlays of all the favorites come in. Woof. The book has not really done very well the last two UFCs. Hopefully that changes on Saturday night. What starts? What else starts on Saturday? Do you guys know? What starts on Saturday morning, you guys? The what preseason? Bears no. preseason with Caleb Williams. No, no, no. Caleb no. isn't even going to see the field. The EPL starts No, tomorrow. I mean for preseason, he's not going to see the field. Oh, he's going to start in the preseason game? Oh. English Premier League football starts Friday. I'll go very quickly. Liverpool Football Club, they start Saturday morning at 4.30 in the morning. Yes, I will be awake. Why? To watch the game. You don't really care that much. Stop oh, pretending like what are you, you talking about? I went to Liverpool. I went to Liverpool in May to go to a game, and I'll be up at 4:30. They play Ipswich Town. But here's the thing: last week when we did the show, why I, not just record it and then watch it when you get up at like 7:30? No, I can't do that. I I, I got to see it live. So last week we did the show. I said how bad of a job our our risk team did on the point totals. Remember, I was like, these guys did a shit job. 73 and a half was the number. We took a really sharp bet yesterday. Now we are at 76 and a half. Just like I said, a terrible job done by the team. Really one of the worst numbers I've ever seen set around here. And now we're at 76 and a half. Here's the really interesting thing, though, in the Premier League. If you look at the futures market, Manchester City has won the league four years in a row. And they're going to win the league again unless they get relegated out of the league for all the rules they've broken. And right now, we've got Manchester City at plus 150. They're going to win unless somebody steps in and stops the cheating and relegates them. I, why am I listening to this three weeks outside of football? Because they could give... Because that could be really zero. good value. I, that could be good value. I hope you guys find some real right. intrinsic value two, with the premier football... What is it? It's the English Premier League. That. All right. What do you want? You want college football sharp plays, right? I want real red-blooded American football for just, like, I'm so sick of soccer. I, I suffered through the Euro Cup, and I kept my mouth shut. You enough. suffered through the Euro Cup? I had, I, I had my lungs on England. Who suffered? And you should have fucking hedged. You should have hedged with Spain. That is a you problem. I even had Spain. Should have listened to Brett. All right, so <laughs> college football week one. This game is actually, I, th I think it's the Thursday night. Uh, so that we don't have, oh, let me go real quickly. I don't have any sharp thing, uh, plays to report on week zero. And there's like two or three oh, no, games. Let's talk about week zero real quick. Uh, I don't want to. What? Where's all this Georgia Tech love coming from? Down to 11? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I can't I say. I not know if you'd seen the I, Well, I've seen the market move. Correct, me too. But I haven't seen any of the accounts that I really respect on that side. Okay, same. I've seen the market I, I think down. I'm this close to betting Florida State, week zero, like this close. I think it's a buy low. I made the game 13. How so many I, bets are you going to have at week zero? There's like, what, three games? Probably one. So over under two and a half bets. 
What? Okay, sorry. So that was my only question about week zero. Week one, you saw what? Coastal Carolina plus four and a half at Jacksonville State. I think that game's Thursday. Okay. So this one, there's, the other two are both very interesting to me. UNLV, our local team here, who had a pretty good year last year. Yes, they did. They, we saw the Sharp players take them plus three. They're at Houston week one. That's a good Houston. game. Houston. Houston is And then, of course, this program. one I very strongly agree with. West Virginia plus ten and a half. Penn State is coming to Morgantown. Penn State is coming to Morgantown. You know they're playing that game at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Ugh. That sucks. That does suck. I wanted that to the be a back, prime time game. No, wait. Versus Pitt. Pitt. Pitt's the backyard brawl. Yeah, so Penn State's called what? Sorry. I don't know. Is there a name for that? No? There's no, like, rivalry there? Okay, maybe not. There was a rivalry. Yeah, when but, they were you know, on the Big East, right? With your generation, all this conference realignment, who can even keep track of who's in what conference anymore? I have a question. Is yeah. Houston the new KU? So good at basketball, so bad at football? KU's, with your, not, with your, KU's not bad at football. With No, Houston is. Are they the new KU? They're saying really they good at basketball. KU. and But, like, your guy Dana. Dana Holgerson did leave Morgantown to go to Houston. But he's gone. Yeah, now he's gone. But now now what? Now what happens in Houston? I don't know. I don't know. It's not going to be good. I think that was a needless shot at Kansas University. Oh. And our great friend Andy Samuelson. Can that's, we not talk about Andy anymore on the show? Like it's like fourth time. No, we've I got to wedge a reference in every episode. It's a running joke. <laughs> it's a it's a running. Why yeah. does the guy even have a job? Uh, he's got a few. He's got a few things working. Sure, he does. Let's do some future. <laughs> Let's do some future stuff. These are two teams that were bet to make the playoff, and I don't know what to make of these two bets. I'm gonna be honest with you. They bet Texas A&M at three to one. This is that make, is insane. They are now plus 275. So isn't the... Add that team under their season win total. Well, let, well I'm going to get to that, actually. And then the other one is Missouri. They bet them at 5-2 to two to make the playoff, and we lowered them to plus 225. But I, I think the question becomes, because the one that I like is I like Alabama at plus money to make the college football playoff because I don't know that losing Nick Saban means that much. I thought it was always about the players. How many opinion. players did they lose? There but was there was a little bit there where there was a lot of transfer they lost portal a lot. chatter. Caleb Downs went to Ohio right. State. They, they lost a lot. But I guess the question really is, how many teams from the SEC can get into this thing? Well. Because George is going to get in. George is going to get in. LSU is going to be really good. Uh, LSU is going to be pretty so good. how many teams? Mizzou is going to be good. I like Mizzou to win 10 games. But um, how many teams? Are they going to let in four SEC teams? Out of 12? I wouldn't be surprised if they let in six. Well, they should if they want it to be the best college football playoff, right? Okay. What? What? I don't understand. Why? Why do people get so mad when I say that? I don't. I don't get it. To me, they should let. If it's the, if you're gonna do the 12 best teams, you're probably it looking. Should be, at, it should be. Probably sorry, looking like five sorry, SEC let me, teams. Let me rephrase that. It should be the top 12 teams. It okay. should be the 12 best teams. You're right, regardless yeah. of whichever conference. But the problem is, is the SEC bias claiming that, you know. Um, a three-loss Auburn team should get in over a one-loss Michigan team. Like, Nobody's ever claimed that. It's going to be something absurd. Who claimed Michigan? Be, Nobody claimed uh, Not Michigan. It's too big of a name. Okay, a one-loss K-State team. They would rather have a three-loss Auburn team in over a one-loss K-State team. Yeah, I agree with that. Why? Because uh, Kansas State doesn't have the panache. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. <laughs> I'm going to do four. So these are four. to drink. You were drinking when I sat down. So are you. Let me give you four are you win totals. To drink on the clock? I don't know. No. I'm not really on the clock because I'm salary. I don't have to <laughs> clock in. Uh, <laughs> let me give you four win totals the book is going to be rooting for, okay? Boise State under nine, Oklahoma State under eight, and that's going to be tough for me because Mike, Mike Gundy is like my favorite coach. I love Gundy. I almost called him Van Gundy. I love Mike Gundy. Okay. But the book is going to need Oklahoma State under eight. We're going to need Ole Miss under nine and a half. I like that. And, oh, yeah, that's another SEC team that's got playoff aspirations. Man. Yeah, but I like the under nine and a half. They're getting a Lane Kiff and I like him a lot, but, boy, are they getting a lot of love. And we need All Alabama. Right. I'm sorry. Can't even read my own writing. We're going to need A&M under eight and a half wins. You're going to get it. I think we will, too. A&M is always is, overrated. That team is going to be lucky to win seven games. Very, very lucky to win seven games. 
I think they lose at Mizzou. That's all I got. I got no They're other... going to be double-digit favorites to your Gamecocks. Relax. But I listen. South Carolina is going to. Hey, gonna congrats pull a... on Asia Wilson gold medal, buddy. They're going to be. Uh, they're going to be one of those teams that has no desire to make Who? a bowl game. Who? South Carolina, and they're going to beat somebody as double-digit underdogs one day. Watch. You give me a college football future that you like, then we'll do the mailbag segment. I uh, like Texas under 10 wins. Is it 10 here? Is it 10 and a half? I don't know. Why didn't you tell me that? Oh, Sorry. Well, you, I didn't know you were going to ask me. Uh, you just talked about the SEC. So Talk she likes Texas under – yeah, Texas too. I can't even keep track of all these SEC teams. You this can't even keep track of the Lamborghinis they have at their football complex. They're too worried is, about this conference all is too this good. It's not football. The SEC is too good. Okay. Well, anyway, I like uh, Texas under. I like Colorado under five and a half wins. You mentioned uh, Missouri. I like Missouri uh, over nine and a half wins. Will Texas at any point this season bench Quinn Ewers for Arch Manning? I don't know if Arch is any good. We will find out, I think, this season. I, I, we haven't seen anything from him. They just, like, keep him in this little bubble. Well, he was the number one prospect in the country, no? Yeah, it's fine. Mailba Lots of five-star recruits don't pan out, John Oh, Murray. especially a quarterback. That's true. Especially at the University of Texas. They have a handful of them every single year. But you guys, so we've been killing why, why, why don't they have a national championship since? They won a national last, championship in 05. Yeah. I was going to say in the last, dec the last decade. It's and been Vince, the last Young was a, Vince Young was a blue-chip recruit. Look how well that panned out. Yeah. Do you want to do the mailbag? Don't look at me like She hates Texas so much. I don't hate Texas so much. Oh, look how nice these are. These are like all printed. Our guys did a good job. Okay. Vince and PGH on X says, from a pure power rating standpoint, who does Kelly in the book thinks is the most overrated top 25 team? Currently not, wait, and which team currently not in the top 25 should be? Ooh. You know, it's tough for me because I don't, I've never looked at the top 25 because I don't care about that. Well, usually I don't either, but I can tell you this right now. There are two teams in the top 25 right now that I'm like, oh, that is wrong. And what are they, Kelly? The University of Kansas is one of them. <laughs> You're a hater, man. No, I'm not. You are an absolute From hater. From a power rating standpoint, they absolutely should not be in the top 25. They're like 27 or 28 on my power ratings list. They are not going to play a home game all season long. They're on a neutral field or away. Uh, it's going to be tough. You know who's going to have a tough season? Michigan. I really need them to beat Texas, though, because that was on my list before I realized that there was going to be sh sanctions coming in. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a tough year in Ann Arbor. You, uh, when you, if you lose a man of the caliber of a Jim Harbaugh, I don't know if there is any other it, man. Of I know, the but it doesn't, just like you said with. Saban, it doesn't just immediately plummet. You still have their players. You still have the culture. It takes a little bit of time. You think that Michigan? I think I think Jim plummet? Harbaugh is a much better coach than Nick Saban. So you lose Jimmy Harbaugh. Wow. And Michigan lost a lot. They lost wow. their they lost their quarterback okay. too. They lost right. JJ McCarthy too. All right. So who's not in the top twenty-five that should be? I don't know. I have no idea who's in the top twenty-five. Well, tell me, tell me a team. Who do you think? Oh, is I like top? UNLV. Yeah, I like UNLV. I'll be going to see UNLV Syracuse October 4th. Okay. Here in Las Vegas. I like UNLV. Good call. Syracuse is getting a lot of love in the ACC, and I don't understand that one either. Is like, West Virginia. Kyle McCord, who. Is West Virginia in the top 25? No. West Virginia, baby. I don't, I don't look at that kind of shit, man. I'm yes. trying to get him to go to the West Virginia game with me, and he's being a pain in the ass. <laughs> AMAT569 on IG says, over or under, speak, speaking of Syracuse getting a lot of hype, oh. over or under seven wins for Syracuse. Over under seven. That sounds like a lot. It does, but the ACC really just Florida State, Clemson this year. The uh, Tech. Yeah, Miami. Well, it's Miami's the Texas of Florida. Show me that you're going to do something. What the hell does that mean? The Texas of Florida. I don't know what that means, but I'll go. <laughs> I'm going. The University of Miami is. The is Texas the University of, of Texas in the state of Florida. Every is single the, year, oh, the, they, the U is Texas. back. I thought that the was a U political back, comment. Texas is I back. Thought, I thought she was talking politics. Uh, okay. I'll go. I will go under. So. All right. I'll tell you this. Uh, no politics on the show. Adam Trigger, wagertalk.com, loves Syracuse. I think he even bet them to win the Didn't Eagles. he go to Syracuse? No, he went to, like, Siena College and majored in, like, English. But is he a Syracuse fan? No. I think he just, like, lives outside of Syracuse now. Anyway, Danny K731 on X says, Danny sent me a really cool picture. 
he lives in New Jersey, so it's like the New York City backdrop. And he was reading the chapter of the book that I'm in, and it was like a really cool back. It was really what book cool. are you on? Uh, Rob Meach's book. Huh. I yeah. like Rob. All right, for John Murray, what do the sports books do with the futures money while this season is ongoing? Well, the smart thing to do with your money is to send it to the bank and collect interest. You can collect interest on futures that take a long time to, to grade. That's what Kelly should have been doing with that Conor McGregor money, uh, collecting the interest. Kelly should have done a lot of things. She should have gotten people to give the money up front. She could have got interest on it. Yeah. Uh, at MHKU32 on X says, what are the odds that the Big 12 title game is KU versus K-State? Oh, like zero. Yeah. Right? I mean, because KU happen. plays all their games on a neutral field. Oh, no chance. Yeah, no chance. And they're also going to lose in Manhattan. They're eight-and-a-half-point dogs in Manhattan. They're not going to win there. And, oh, by the way, there's a little team called Utah that's probably going to win the Big 12. You know, Utah was a team we saw people betting to make the college football playoff as well. Yeah. And I know I know some sharp guys like Iowa State in the Big 12. Okay. Yes, Matt Campbell. I'm telling you. Some people like Iowa State. Uh, they're the new Texas of the Big 12. What the hell does it? Uh, they're, they're the Texas of Iowa. The Texas of Iowa. Uh, I don't know what that means. At Mooney Party of Four on X says, does Murray believe in the K KIV reverse jinx as a betting strategy? Actually, when I did my super contest video, I said, yeah, I'm really terrible in the NFL. It's going to be an awful season. I can't wait to lose the super contest. That no, was I don't. Jinx. So you, I think people know this about me. I don't believe in jinxes at all. Like, oh, you're I, not superstitious at like all. Like I said in like May, oh, we won the Guardians over bet. We're going to win. I could just, we won. I, I could tell immediately we were going to win. And then you got all mad at me that we were, that I was jinxing it. And I was like, I don't believe in that kind of stupid shit. <laughs> like, you can you can try to jinx anything. Listen, my reverse jinxes are really fucking good. I bet they're hitting at like a 70% clip. I bet they're not. I bet you Nothing they are. Nothing hits at a 70% clip. Dude, my reverse jinxes are really good. You know I who got two unders by the hook. You know who wins at a 70% week. clip? The Cleveland Guardians. They win at about a 70% clip. That's a real squad. Oh, John Murray. What else you got for me? Our producers so, are texting one another. Yeah, they're texting each other, sitting next oh, to each other. Me? Oh, they're sending uh, it to us. Let's see. Oh, boy. Is it, oh, I'm not included in this? Is it a question or? Is it a, is it a question uh -oh. from the audience? What is it, a tweet? The Wizards will go blank in 2024, 2025. <laughs> I'm going to put my phone down. <sighs> is no. that who that was? No, it was a picture of the Washington Wizards. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Well, I the, literally, I can only see so far. Okay, never mind. You know, you, you, you're... Well, my phone, oh, my phone's over there. She's it's complained fine. about her, her hearing, her vision. I mean, you're, you're like an old lady. <laughs> I complained about my vision? You just said I can only see so far. No, I mean the angle of your phone. Like, I just went oh, like yeah. this and I can only see... Never mind. Okay, we're going to edit out the last part of the show. We love you guys. Leave the Brittany Griner thing in there. Remember this, at the Superbook here in Nevada, we just got this up. Speaking of the Washington Wizards, NBA win totals, okay. NHL point totals, yes, no odds Ooh, NHL, uh, yeah, on NHL NBA and NHL teams to make the playoffs. NBA and hockey is right around the corner. EPL starts tomorrow. It's been a miserable 10 weeks without the EPL. Miserable. It starts tomorrow, and the NFL is back in a couple of weeks. I got to get into all my contests, dude. I got to sign up for all that stuff. You're slacking. I know.